can't say that's not good. Currently leaving Western Pennsylvania, we're headed to Dallas, and this is the 40,000 mile review of my 2020 Tesla Model Y. Charge stop number one on our trip here in Cambridge, Ohio. 45 minute charge stop. Let's start with the exterior of the Model Y for the 40,000 mile review. Let's head outside. It's pink. It's pink. Um, I have Expel paint protection film. I have their stealth wrap underneath this pink. A wrap is not going to give you any type of real protection from rock chips or things like that. Paint protection film from Expel is self-healing, so if you do get a cut or someone tries to key your car, it will heal itself as long as they don't cut through the film, which is pretty hard. And these are also the 20 inch induction wheels. The stock tires lasted me, I think 36,000 miles. Two of them popped. I got holes in them, they weren't replaceable and they weren't fixable, so we had to do that. I put these summer tires on. These are Michelin Pilot Super Sport 4S's. This is a, a high performance summer tire. Definitely not an all season tire. And also because I'm doing the cross country trip, all these people were taking video and pictures of my car. I figured I'd better uh, do a little self, uh, self advertising. I do have the performance spoiler on the back. Uh, I got this, I think this is about $1,100. I just think this one fits the best because it's a Tesla OEM piece. I haven't found an aftermarket company uh, that makes one better. I'm coming up on the two year service. Really the only service you need to do with these things is with the brakes because you don't use them that much. And in the Northeast, I think they like you to bring your car in annually uh, to have your brakes checked and lubricated uh, just because of the oxidation with the salt and everything on the roads. We just left Cambridge, Ohio and we're headed to Cincinnati, Ohio as our next charging stop. So after 40,000 miles, probably the thing I love most about the Tesla is the autopilot system. So this comes with every Tesla. You don't have to pay extra for it. And because it's so nice to engage it, all you do is double tap here and then it engages and you can tell it's engaged by these two blue illuminated lines showing the lane. Also, this video is sponsored by OptiWatt. I've used them for a while now. It's an app on your phone that helps you track your charging costs. It lets you precondition your battery so it performs efficiently when you take it right out of your garage. It lets you also set your car to charge when it's the most eco-friendly. So when they're using renewable energy to create the electricity that you're putting in your car, you can set the OptiWatt app to charge your car only when it's using renewable energy. You can also set it just to charge every night or if you have a trip coming up. And also OptiWatt has expanded their app to chart so you can track your costs across most EV brands. So the OptiWatt app, you can download it. It's linked in the description below. It helps me out if you guys use that link. And also, if you guys have friends that you wanna share the OptiWatt app with, they give you OptiWatt app with. If you have friends you wanna share the OptiWatt app with, you can use their referral program and that's inside the app. So link is in description. OptiWatt has been a great partner of mine, but like any of the sponsors on my channel, I actually use their stuff. So you will consistently see me doing brand integrations with them because they're a good company. It's a nice app to have to go along with your Tesla to enhance your ownership experience and try to get more out of the technology that's in your car. So OptiWatt, thank you for sponsoring. Link is in description. Guys, support the sponsors of the channel. And uh... see, now that's what I'm talking about. That's reality. What's the other side say? Thou sh oh my God. On road trips like I'm on, you can't just sit here like without your hands on the wheel. You do have to occasionally touch the wheel, but it keeps it in the lanes. It's perfectly centered for you. And you're able to just sit here and relax and the car is very good. There are downsides to it. You've probably heard of the term phantom braking. Occasionally, like for example, we're approaching this bridge here. And sometimes I think the shadow that the bridge casts on the ground makes the Tesla think that there's a wall there or an obstruction in the way. It does occasionally happen, and for that reason, you have to just be fully paying attention to what you're doing. These cars do not drive themselves. Full self-driving, for example, it's I think it will get there in the future, but it's still in a rudimentary form, and I just, that's why I, I don't think it's anywhere near worth $12,000. I just, I don't see the value in it. You, if you guys have full self-driving, let me know why you think it's worth it in the comments below, because I am interested in that perspective. I, just for me personally, it doesn't make sense. The autopilot system is excellent. It takes a lot of uh, stress off of you on a trip. It's relaxing. You can listen to your music or your podcast or have a conversation with all my friends in here. One thing I don't like is, so I'm changing lanes right now, and you can see the car there. 
Occasionally, if you get too close to a car in front of you, it doesn't want to quickly get into the lane and pass the car. It gets into the lane and brakes. Uh, whereas in other cars, it's better, like I was in the Toyota Supra recently, and when you change lanes and have adaptive cruise control on, it downshifts so it can make the pass and maintain the speed that you want the car to go at. So, the autopilot system, the adaptive cruise control system in the Tesla is incredible. It takes a lot of strain off of you on long road trips. I'm going across the country right now. For that reason, I think it's an excellent road trip vehicle. The other reason is, like me for example, I create YouTube videos for a living. I don't have a boss or manager or anyone telling me how many vacation days I can have in a year. So for me, taking a little extra long on a road trip because I'm in an electric car is not a big deal. Now, there are other electric cars out, now, out there now that are excellent. The problem is the charging network is nowhere near as good as Tesla's. There are cars that charge faster, like the Hyundai Ioniq 5, but there's only so many chargers that can charge to get the maximum rate of the 350 uh, kilowatts that the car is capable of charging at. So there's only so many chargers that do that. Whereas Tesla stations, you're at least going to be running into 150 kilowatt chargers, if not 250s, which are becoming more and more common every day. And there's over 30,000 Tesla superchargers across the United States. So the, the network is so good and it's very reliable. So you're gonna be able to take your road trips and do all this. Like I'm driving across the country with zero worries. You type it into the navigation, it tells you how many stops you're gonna have, how long you're gonna be at each stop, and I've not had one issue yet. Uh, that last supercharger I just left, it said there was 10 minutes remaining, but it said I was gonna to get to the next one with 7% battery, so I just unplugged it and I'm driving conservatively to the next one. If you put the car in chill mode, it will save a little bit of battery just because it's not as aggressive on the uh, throttle response and also going the speed limit helps too. Just entered Cincinnati, Ohio. I've never been here before. To those of you who are subscribed from Cincinnati, hello. Your city looks nice, guys. Your city looks nice. Kind of reminds me of Pittsburgh. All these cities along rivers, kind of similar. We're heading into this tunnel and hopefully we make it out the other side. This just coming in, YouTuber Jeebs has been caught in the rubble. You see these workers digging through. Him and his Tesla have not been recovered after two weeks of digging. Very unfortunate tunnel collapse, but more on this tonight. Home of the Cincinnati Reds and Pokey Reese. Go Buckeyes. I tell you what, if you ain't, you ain't rooting for the Pirates, you ain't rooting for baseball. That's how I look at it. Just entered Kentucky for the first time. Andy Bashir is the governor. That's what the sign said. Guy's clearly on a power trip because he's got his name on the sign. So you know that he's the governor. He has wants his name on the sign. The guy's out of his mind. But Andy, hey, if you want to join me on a road trip, maybe we can get you reelected. But as of right now, if I were a citizen, due to you having them print signs with your name on it, you can't get my vote again, Andy. But that's okay, because Andy doesn't need me. Here's another thing that's great about the whole Tesla network. You can see the number eight there on the screen. That number eight means how many stalls are currently open at that supercharger. In other, again, with other companies that make electric cars, they're not fully integrated into the charging network like Tesla is of their technology at the superchargers tied into the car, tied into your cell phone. Um, it's it just makes it so easy and I'm not trying to say steer you away from buying something else I'm just showing you the benefits and what to me makes a Tesla so great to own and not a huge departure of inconvenience from a gas-powered car so that's why I'm presenting in this manner I, I like all the other electric cars and if you know you're not driving your uh, Tesla on road trips and things, and it's not your only car, you can really open up to, okay, what do other brands offer that have things that they do better than Tesla uh, that you would prefer? So we're on to another supercharger here, heading into a part of the country I've never really been to, and I'm excited. So I have had this issue happen before to where it sounds like it's metal on metal rubbing. I'm gonna kill her. The brake rotor, it sounds like Something is rubbing there. Listen. I think you may been you may have been able to hear that. So I don't know what it is because it totally goes away then. I'm just not sure what causes it. So, 
looks like we're headed to Louisville, Kentucky. Met a subscriber at the last supercharger there. Oh my word, look at the cars in Louisville, Kentucky. Just parked. That is insane. Those are probably cars that all need chips, I would assume. That's remarkable. Wait, is that the... What is it? Is that the racetrack for the... For the horses? Louisville, uh... Yeah, Louisville, Kentucky looks like a cool place. We'll have to come back here at some point. They have roller coasters, trees, and inbreeding. I have the suspension set to 12 of 32. So if you don't know, I have the unplugged luxury coilover suspension on my car. I'll have a video linked to it in the description below with the install. Excellent. It's really well tuned at 12 of 32 in stiffness. So zero <coughs> is the softest setting. That's what I had it on for a while. That's too spongy, it's too much bounce in the car. This is sporty yet luxurious. So I think this, this between 12 and 16, maybe between eight and 16 is where you wanna hover for the settings and it, it does make a difference. Cool to have the ability to tune it to be as stiff or as soft as you want. Also, I recommend keeping your ride height stock if you're going for total comfort because uh, I lowered mine a quarter of an inch and I think I'm gonna go back to unplugged and get the rear of the car raised an eighth of an inch and then we're gonna do some brakes and I got some other things lined up that unplugged. So those videos are coming. Subscribe if you haven't already for that. So I'm going by the James B. Beam a distillery. Is that Jim Beam? Is that how we got there? You know, I have an idea. We are going to do a, start a bourbon company and we're gonna do a Jimmy Beam. Well, that's a little close to Jimmy Dean. So how about Jim Beam? Just went past a sign that said the Lincoln Jamboree. That's how I met my wife at the Lincoln Jamboree, you understand? I said, hey honey, you want to square dance with me? She said, mm-mm. And I said, you're gonna dance with me, bitch. And then we got married. And that's how I met your mother. Another great feature of the Model Y. Again, autopilot, this comes with every Tesla, included in the cost. In traffic, I'm chilling. And the other thing that's nice in traffic is you don't really have to touch the wheel as much because I think just because you're going at a lower speed. It is so relaxing to be sitting in, <laughs> who's ever said this? This is something only I would say. It is so relaxing to be only sitting, to be sitting in traffic and the car accelerates, decelerates and keeps you in your lane. It just makes, just reduces the chance for an accident and you're able to relax a little bit. So uh, just another feature of the car that over the 40,000 miles that I've owned it is nice to have. Let's keep cruising on through Kentucky. We're headed to the Elizabethtown, Kentucky Supercharger. E-Town as the locals call it. I met a guy at the Supercharger back there and he called it E-Town. So we're headed to E-Town. And the rowers keep on rowing. How's this for a supercharger stop? They even got de-icer, windshield wiper fluid. I'll tell you what, another 350 kilowatt supercharger as well. Or 250, sorry. Yeah, the, the superchargers are getting better and better. This is a clean one right next to the worst place in the world, Subway. I'd rather not eat than eat at Subway. People that they endorse, Tom Brady. Do you think Tom Brady ever would eat Subway? You're nuts if you think he would eat that garbage. It's cardboard and fake cheese. The bread is cardboard. But anyways, we're charging up. Let's see how fast we can get this sucker going here. For some reason, that charger the one I was on at first was only going at 138 miles per hour. So now it's, this one's working correctly. So I don't know what happened there. Also, uh, another subscriber of the channel there, that's his blue Model Y. The wrap looks beautiful. It's a really unique color that I've never seen. Yeah, Kentucky's good. I like Kentucky. I kind of, you know, I like them all. You know, Kentucky's got lots of booze, home of booze and Subway. Trying to get some sunset dome. Go to the Hidden River Cave, exit 58. I'm gonna get a billboard, by the way. If anyone owns a billboard company out there, I think I'm gonna start advertising the channel on there. In a car wreck? Call us, we're dead. Sunset Dome. Getting dome at sunset. Look at the three crosses. I used to always search for those when I was on road trips with my grandparents. We'd always search them out. 
Searching for Jesus. Hey there, Jesus. T-Rex is real, baby. Dinosaur world. It's actually awesome. I love dinosaurs, you know? So that is the National Corvette Museum. About two years ago, there was a sinkhole right in the center of it and the place collapsed and they lost like some of the most rare Corvettes um, in the world. I think they were able to restore them and everything, but there was a sinkhole in the middle of the National Corvette Museum. It's pretty crazy. Bowling Green! I'm on Route 65 right now. This road is one of the best roads I've been on in the, throughout the entire country. It's very smooth, it's very well maintained for like hundreds of miles. As you drive through the United States, I highly recommend it to people. Like, take road trips, planes are, you know, you're rushing around, all that stuff. Road trips, to me, are so nice. You can stop anywhere, you have full control over what you're going to do, and this country offers so much. I mean, you can do literally anything in, in all of these various different states and the landscape changes and the culture changes a little bit here and there and I don't know I highly recommend it it's really cool a good way to see the country's history and then just go visit things you would have never visited before if you're taking a plane I know it's a lot right now if you have a gas car but if you have a Tesla which a lot of you do you can do it for not that much so take advantage of that take advantage of the Tesla charging network and being able to work from home and remotely and travel around. This message brought to you by the United States government. Well, look, I take billboards at face value. <clears throat> and that one said, prepare to meet thy God. So, I mean, I'm, I mean, I guess I'm as prepared as I'll ever be. I'm as prepared as I'll ever be. He's somewhere down here on this road. And I'm prepped. At least I got my cameras charged, right? If you're gonna meet God, you gotta film it. You gotta, you gotta cash in. You gotta have, you gotta be monetized, and you gotta cash in on God. All right, city skyline of Nashville, Tennessee. I'm gonna meet my buddy Mark, get some dinner. Model Three Long Range owner. He, he watched the videos and he joined the cult. You know, what? Like a lot of you, you know. You watch the videos, you see the fun, you join the cult. And here we are, we're at Superchargers together, talking about the future. And that's just how life goes. Well, the temperature is 93 degrees at 4.45 p.m. with a 10 mile an hour breeze out of the northeast. Well, thank you for flying with Jeeves Air, and we'll see you at the Supercharger. We've made it to Nashville, Tennessee, no accidents. Mark, we were never on the golf team together. That's right. We played golf at the same school. Pretended to. We pretended to. And Mark, he's in the cult. He has his Model 3 long range over there, so he joined in. Also, the sound deadening material really holding up well here. So it's hanging off the side of the car. I mean, let's just get rid of it. So we got more shit peeling off of the car, but that's okay because this is a utility vehicle. We talked a lot before you went in to buy the Tesla. Yeah. And you know, you're buying an electric car and you're in an apartment now? Yes. At his apartment, you are you charge for free. That's correct. So you moved here in March and you have not paid- Not a penny. A penny. I hear gas prices aren't good right now. <laughs> I don't even know what I don't they know are. I don't know, everything's free. <laughs> Everything is free. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was really cool to hear that because yes, the car is expensive. Yes, you're going to an electric car but there's always ways around it and there's ways to plan around it. So if you're moving to an apartment, you're moving to a new place, uh, it might actually be better than having a gas car you're not playing for energy at all. And then on the road trips, you drove out here so you got to experience the charging network. It's easy, and, yeah. Yeah, Amazing. it's very intuitive. So yeah, cause you have, I mean, look, let's take a look here. Here's the United States or here's a third world country. I mean, this is awful. These things charge slow. You have to put your credit card in. Sometimes it doesn't work. Someone was drinking an energy drink and they just died here. They, they couldn't even muster up the energy to figure out how to get the charger in their car, so. But yeah, the Pink Pig is charging up on another V3 charger and everything is good. So we're gonna get uh, dinner, talk about Elon Musk, and uh, we're probably gonna go to Mars on a rocket ship. That's right, let's do it. And that's it. Well, you know what to do when you see disaster. You film it. Oh my word. I'd say that's not good. Not good. And all they ever do is report that Teslas are on fire. How about Ultimas? Ultimas burn too, folks. 
thankful for all of you watching these videos and supporting this. I try to try to give my best on these videos. Sometimes it's 80% that I give, you know. Sometimes the editing is not where it should be, but it's where it is, and that's that. <sighs> Look at the beauty. Look at the beauty. I'm happy I can bring this to you through a camera. I know it's not all oh, it can never be appreciated on camera, but we're just we're making tunes and we're having a good old time. And look at the Prius from from Alexis, Texas. Look at that. By my Tesla in Tennessee, and then I never look back. I picked it up on a summer night, and left my wife, oh yeah. You know what my favorite thing is? This is the wrong exit. It's hooking truck drivers up. Like, if they need to get over, I give them that little light flick, they give me the double brake tap. Now take the US 45 bypass south exit on the right. I love truckers. They live a hard life, but without them, this country does not run. Like, uh, what the pandemic has made me realize is there's, no matter where, No matter what role you play in this world, you matter. The, the reason... Now turn right on to carriage house drive. And the reason that that... that um, that upsets me um, is because a friend of mine. Now your destination uh, is on the left. He committed suicide. <laughs> and, uh. And he probably. You know, I don't know what. You know, you never know what uh what happens to people but um you matter to someone regardless if you think you don't you matter and uh that's all i have to say you matter whatever role whatever little however little you think you are in this world um you matter to someone so Keep that in mind. If you're if you're struggling, keep that in mind. Because it will get better. You'll fight through it. But you gotta stay here. And and reach out to someone, reach out to help. I'm not a psychologist, clearly. I'm a, you know, I'm having a fucking breakdown right now, but uh reach out. Let's charge this piece of shit up. Oh god apologize for that break in the video um, sometimes you just gotta let it fly you know let it rip this is the coolest supercharger I've ever been to this is my new favorite let's explore a little bit look I mean this is cool this is really cool it's a good place for a thumbnail actually let's see here it's a good thumbnail sometimes it's good to be zoomed like this I love the billboard. Spring merch is here. I need to get some spring merch. But look, there, we got some Tesla rules over here. Just blink. I actually applied to work at Blink. They never responded. What a loss that is for them. Tesla drivers, enjoy the village while you charge. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, Dixie Cafe to go. Farmers, Perk Organic Coffee, 1890s Ice Cream Parlor. Gift Shop and Candy Store, Casey Jones, Railroad Museum. High on that train. I don't know, okay. the shops at Casey Jones Village. This is a cool, it's a cool place here is the charge, the pink pig is, is charging up. Let's, uh, let's walk around. <laughs> People are going to look at me and be like, are you okay? And I'll say, no ma'am, I'm not. I'm Casey Jones. Just ripping across the west in this thing. It's pretty awesome. I always wanted to ride in the caboose of a train. Hornets. 
ride in the caboose of a train and have tea, talk about nothing. And this is actually the unplugged coilover suspension here. It's pretty legit. I understand that it is inconvenient to have to take longer on trips to charge, but why else would you stop here if you didn't have to charge for 25 minutes? And now you get to walk around and just learn something about a random part of the country. The train car and these, these buildings, ice cream parlor, native man and woman. Her name is Ellis. Just really unique to be able to do this and it's just part of your journey. Made it to the Comfort Inn. Hell of a room. The charger right here is incredible. You have that little town. Highly recommend this as a destination to charge and stay overnight with your Tesla. Also, how many calls to the front desk did it take to get this put on? <laughs> hey, I can't figure the thermostat out. Hey, hey, I can't figure the thermostat out. Well, I'm just seeing my hair for the first time today. Not good, folks. Yeah, we went a little off the rails today. Lots of things were covered. Blood, blood splatter on the mirror. 40,000 miles in the Tesla. I've had no serious service issues that I needed to go. Um, I had to replace two tires for getting flats. I think the reason that Tesla tires pop or get uh, nails in them more is because they run at a higher PSI. Can't remember what the type of tire is called off the top of my head, but they run at a 42 PSI. So normal tires are running in the low to mid 30s. So it's quite a significant difference. And I think that's why they pop tires. I also recently broke the windshield. I'll have that video linked down in the description. But after 40,000 miles, the car's been incredible. And little towns like this, like I just said, add to the whole experience of owning a Tesla because these third, these other third party chargers, now there was a Blink charger down there, but these other chargers, uh, mainly Electrify America, where you're ch charging your Porsche, uh, you're charging your Mercedes Benz, you're doing those in like Walmart parking lots and not so nice locations. Whereas the Tesla charging experience and the, what they've done to plant these chargers in cool areas across the country add to the whole thing of owning a tesla i know it sounds like i'm over my head for tesla i get it i get it it can be annoying but they've done such a good job and i have to be tra i i praise them when they deserve it and i hit them in areas like the service when they deserve it in the hopes that they get better so thank you guys for watching the forty thousand mile review OptiWatt app is linked down in the description. Excellent app, great way to check your costs. And also with the OptiWatt app, you know how when your friends say, well, well, you know, it still takes coal to power the Tesla and you come back at them with, oh, I use the OptiWatt app and I only charge my car with renewable energy, solar, wind, hydro. So when they say that double middles, first of all, you use the OptiWatt app and you charge on renewables. Thank you for watching. Please like the video, I sincerely appreciate it. We'll see you next time.